1997, James Cameron's blockbuster film Titanic gave many of us a heart-wrenching glimpse into the tragic tale of the ship. But what if we told you there's more to the story? In this video, we'll plunge deeper into the terrifying finds recovered from the wreckage. The Ship's Whistle Imagine the piercing sound of the ship's whistle echoing through the icy night, a desperate call for help that went unanswered. Found intact among the wreckage, this whistle serves as a haunting reminder of the urgency and despair that filled the air on that night. Molly Brown's Necklace Margaret Molly Brown, a survivor whose name has become synonymous with resilience, left behind a necklace that was anything but ordinary. Composed of three unrefined gold nuggets, this necklace adds a layer of complexity to Molly's already fascinating story, a tangible link to a woman who refused to be just another victim. Bowler Hat In a world submerged and frozen in time, a bowler hat was found, surprisingly well-preserved. It wasn't shielded by a trunk or bag, yet it survived, almost as if defying the ravages of time and water. This hat whispers tales of men who once walked the decks of the Titanic, their fashion choices reflected the era's norms. Legometer This legometer, an instrument used to gauge the ship's speed and distance, was found with a final reading of 268 nautical miles. It's as if the device itself wanted to record the Titanic's last journey, a mechanical witness to the ship's final moments. Deck Bell the bronze deck bell rung by lookout Frederick Fleet when he first spotted the iceberg was also recovered. Its somber tone now serves as a chilling reminder of the exact moment when the Titanic's fate was sealed. Sheet Music Among the debris, sheet music for songs like On Mobile Bay and Put Your Arms Around Me Honey were discovered. These belonged to Howard Irwin, who by a twist of fate missed the ship. The music sheets are like ghostly melodies Songs never played but still linger in the ship's memory. Alligator Purse Marion Meanwell, a British milliner, boarded the Titanic with an alligator purse that was more than just a fashion statement. Inside were her marriage license, a receipt for a canary, and a note from a former landlord. The purse, with its tough alligator skin, acted like a time capsule, preserving fragments of Marion's life as she journeyed towards a future she'd never see. Vials of Edwardian Perfume When a leather pouch was found among the wreckage, no one could have guessed its contents. Inside were small vials of perfume samples, the personal collection of Adolf Salfeld, a perfume maker and first-class passengers. These vials were later used to recreate the lost sense of the Edwardian era, a fragrant resurrection that defied the ravages of time. Bronze Cherub a bronze cherub, believed to have adorned a light fixture on one of the ship's grand staircases, was recovered from the ocean floor. Missing its torch and left foot, this cherub adds an element of mystery and elegance to the Titanic story, a silent guardian of a world long lost. Amy's Bracelet A 15-carat rose gold bracelet, its band spelling out the name Amy in diamonds, was discovered. Though its owner remains unknown, it's believed to have belonged to Amy Stanley, a third-class passenger. This bracelet is a riddle wrapped in a precious metal, a story waiting to be told. Fragment of the Titanic itself A massive 30-by-30-foot 30 30 section of the Titanic's hull, known as the Big Piece, was salvaged from the ocean floor. Covered in sea life, it had to be treated to slow down rusting and erosion. This piece serves as a monumental reminder of the ship itself, a tangible fragment of history. Wool Vest A wool vest found in pristine condition belonged to third-class passenger William Henry Allen. It appears as if it were, quote, pressed and ready to wear, capturing a moment frozen in time, a snapshot of daily life interrupted by tragedy. A pocket watch A pocket watch was found. Its hand stopped at the exact moment the Titanic sank. This watch captures the essence of time, frozen yet eternal, marking the instant when hundreds of lives were changed forever. First Class and Third Class China Cobalt blue and gold china for first passengers and simpler white china for third class passengers were recovered. These pieces serve as silent witnesses to the class distinctions that pervaded every aspect of life on board, even down to the dishes from which people ate. Children's Marbles A set of children's marbles was discovered among the wreckage, a heartbreaking reminder of the young lives lost in the disaster. 
These simple toys, now resting at the bottom of the ocean, are like lost dreams, forever frozen in the depths of the sea. Silver Pocket Mirror Imagine a woman, perhaps a first-class passenger, pulling out this silver pocket mirror to touch up her makeup or adjust her hat. The glass is tarnished but still intact, a reflective glimpse into the daily rituals that took place aboard the ship. Diary Recovered from the depths was a water-damaged diary, its entries barely legible. Though the ink has faded and the words are mostly lost, the emotional weight of this artifact is palpable. Leather Boots a pair of well-preserved leather boots was discovered, their laces still tied. These boots offer more than just a glimpse into the fashion of the Edwardian era. They also speak to the haste and chaos that must have filled the ship's corridors as passengers rushed to abandon their belongings. Cane with a Hidden Secret Among the debris, a cane with a hidden flask was found. This ingenious item not only speaks to the creativity of its owner, but perhaps also to the vices that accompanied them. One can't help but wonder if the flask was filled during the ship's final hours. Love Letter A love letter, still legible despite years underwater, was found among the wreckage. This artifact offers a bittersweet glimpse into a romance cut tragically short. The words penned on that paper are like echoes of love reverberating through time. Captain's Bathtub Captain Edward Smith's bathtub was discovered in an astonishingly well-preserved state. This was more than just a place for cleansing. It was a sanctuary where the captain might have sought moments of solitude and reflection before the impending catastrophe. Violin A violin, believed to have been played during the ship's final moments, was recovered from the icy depths. The instrument serves as a symbol of the courage and resilience displayed by those on board. Deck Chair a wooden deck chair, its intricate carvings still visible, was found among the wreckage. The chair might have been a place where passengers sat to enjoy the sea breeze, completely unaware of the impending doom that would soon engulf them. Set of Keys A set of keys believed to belong to a crew member was discovered. They unlock more than just doors, they also unlock the mystery of the Titanic's inner workings, from the engine room to the cargo holds. Menu Card a first-class menu card was found, detailing the luxurious meals served on the ship. This piece of paper serves as a testament to the opulence that defined the Titanic's short-lived journey, a menu of dreams never realized. Unopened Bottle of Champagne An unopened bottle of champagne was discovered among the debris. It stands as a poignant reminder of celebrations that were never meant to be. Teddy Bear a teddy bear once clutched in the arms of a child was recovered from the wreckage. This simple toy serves as a heartbreaking reminder of the innocence lost in the disaster. Now it's time to hear from you. Which artifact intrigued you the most? Let us know in the comments section below.